Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back to the channel. So the day has finally arrived. I am going to be giving you a sewing room tour and I'm going to show you how my sewing room went from this to this. Yes, this is my new sewing room and I am excited to share with you what I did, what changes I did to be able to get this brand new, beautiful sewing room. So stick around and you'll learn more about my beautiful new sewing room. Okay, so we're going to start with this side of the room. As you can see, I made quite a bit of changes here. And for all of the information for the furniture that I use to update this sewing space, I'll put as much as possible in the description box below. Some of the stuff isn't available, but I'll put most of the things uh, that you see in this video in the description box below. All right, so let's start with the pegboard system. This is a system, this white pegboard up here, that system I purchased off of Amazon. Again, if it's available, I'll make sure that I put it in the description box below. And as you can see, for this side of the room, I have four uh, pegboards. So, and it's just going straight across the uh, the length of the wall here and I have a few pictures and quotes, um, some daily inspirational quotes here. Uh, and then I replaced my table. So the table that I had before is a really long uh, 59 inch uh, table. It was a really long table and it was actually really wide as well. I wanted to replace it with something shorter because I wanted to have two tables in this room instead of one long table. And so I replaced it with this table here. And this table is 47 inches long and I believe it's like 29 inches wide or something like that. So it's very, uh, it's more compact than the one that I had before. And I, again, I purchased this off of Amazon as well. And you see here, I have two of my sewing machines on this particular table here. I have my Singer Heavy Duty. This is the 44, I believe it's the 52. And then I also have my uh, Diana Baby Lock cover stitch machine on this table as well. And so this is, um, this isn't my main sewing station. I have had time to work in this sewing space since I've updated it. I think I, it's been about two, about two weeks, um, completed. So it's about, yeah, about two weeks, um, old here. I haven't uh, really sewn on this station as much. However, I love the idea of having this second station uh, for when I want to switch out my machines and things like that. And then also my husband comes in here a lot after work. He comes in and he greets me and he sit, he likes to sit down and talk to me as I'm working um, at the end of the day if I'm sewing while when he comes home. And it was just really frustrating because when he would come home, although I enjoyed uh, his visits, he would just sit on the floor and, and everything. And I just, I like it more because now he has a, a place to sit. And then also he sews too. He doesn't sew as frequently as I um, do. And he's not as uh, knowledgeable. He doesn't, he's not really invested in the talent as much. However, when he does so, he, he likes to sew like a lot of pillows and pillowcases and things like that. And so this second station will be perfect for him. So that's why I'm really glad that I have this second station. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about what's underneath my table. It's a drastic difference and I'll show you the the before and the after photos here. And then I'll show you uh, this cabinet here over here on this right side here. I'll show you that cabinet and what is in the cabinet. It's just amazing. I can't wait to show you all. Okay, so here down underneath the table, I have my uh, two main pattern boxes here. Uh, if you watched my first sewing video, you know I have a lot of commercial patterns and I had a, I didn't really have a real nice organizational system. However, this system is a system that I had in my, in the old sewing room. However, um, I still kept these two bins because 
I needed them. So I'm not um, completely content with having them under here, but it's still better than the previous organizational system. Um, this uh, box here contains, it's a milk crate that I purchased from Target and it contains the Vogue patterns that are the really wide uh, patterns and then my manila envelopes here that contains my PDF patterns. So I am more, I, I like this setup much better than the original setup. So I'm really happy with that. And then I have a few plants and things. These are faux plants that I have to decorate around the room. I have another one up here. Again, there's a quote and the clock. Um, some more, another quote. And then um, for my pegboard system, I just decided to put a few of my scissors here and some of the things that I use the most up here. So you'll see in these little bins here up here, I have uh, pens and a measuring tape. I have my labels all ready to go for uh, my, those are my clothing labels. Um, I have some more uh, things in here that I am using. And this here, this is a key to my actual sewing room because I actually have a lock on the door so that my son don't come in here. So anyway, I really like this side of the room. I really like the way that it is turning out. I wanted to replace the chairs, but everything that I was finding online was very expensive. And I wanted, specifically, I wanted to get white chairs to match the white furniture. However, I really thought about that and I just don't think that... Um, white will be kept clean, <laughs> clean enough for me. So I decided to just go with these chairs here and I thrifted these at my local thrift shop and I believe they were like maybe $7 each. So I went ahead and, and picked those up and then I put some cushions here on them and I got these, um, these little seat cover or seat cushions from Walmart and so they were really inexpensive so really loving that so this is the first cabinet that I uh, bought here for my for my um, fabrics and let me show you what it looks like on the inside so on the top shelf I just put all of my pressing um, things like I have my pressing cloth and my hams, my tailor hams. I have all of my uh, starch and all that stuff. I decided to keep that up on that top shelf. On the second shelf, you'll see I have, these are all cottons and I just folded them up. Now this um, cabinet is quite deep and so I do have two rows of fabric on both sides. I'm not going to take that out, but I do have two rows of fabric. So I have fabric in the front and then also fabric in the back. And then on this shelf here, this is the shelf that has like the, um, the more organized, uh, fabrics that are on, uh, fabric organizational boards that I had made. And I had decided after, making this set here that I was going to I, I wasn't going to do that particular system because of the uh, depth of the cabinet so the cabinet is so deep and I just did not want to to lose any space and I felt like it would be more functional like this so I can get that second row back there so that's why I decided not to do that and then so for these two rows here for the top shelf in the bottom here uh, those are all cotton materials uh, moving down here i have my corduroy and my quilted material here and some brocades um, and then at the bottom i have all my sweater knits um, and wools down here so yeah so that's my first cabinet and i am pleased with this setup and it looks so much better than the previous organizational uh, system that i had Okay, moving on to this side of the room. This is the side of the room that I spend about 75% of my time. I really love this area, y'all. I mean, I have, 
like I said, this room is about two weeks old, so I have had a chance to sew in here a little bit, and I have been loving this side of the room, particularly because the window is right here, and so when I push those curtains open, I get a lot of light that come in, and it's like direct sunlight right here, and so it's really easy to... Um, to sew here and get the light that I need without having to worry about cutting on the overhead light or any other additional lights. So I really like this area here. As you can see here, I have another pegboard system. This system is actually wider than the one on the first wall. And I have eight pegboards on this wall. And this is going to be like the main my main pegboard wall here. Uh, I have all my rulers, my needles. I have rotary cutters up here. I have um, my button gauge and, you know, all kinds of stuff up here. Really good, fun goodies. I have more measuring tapes over here. This is a little jar that has little odds and ends, um, like the buttons, loose buttons that I have from projects. I have my pens in here. Those are safety pins, some chalk. I have all my my uh, feet here for my sewing machines. Uh, just all kinds of goodies up here. I have thimbles and uh, all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really love this area of the room. As you can see, I also have a little mesh wired basket here. And this is where I'm keeping all my current projects, like projects that I am uh intending to sew this summer let's keep my hands crossed my fingers crossed for that um and then this is the project that i'm currently working on right now put my the current pattern that i am sewing with up there and that is the pattern that i'm sewing with right now so for this particular sewing station i have another singer heavy duty now this one is the i think it's 6600 or something like that but this one is a computerized um uh, version of it i really like this one it's really fun to sew with very uh beginner friendly as well and then this is my uh brother 1034d uh serger which i really love this machine but yeah, this is this side of the room here. And then at, uh, underneath this table, I have my Halifax here. And this is just a, a cabinet that has all my materials. So in this drawer, I have more scissors and things like that. Um, hammers and washers, you know, just some odds and ends. But mostly scissors in that drawer. In this second drawer... These are all my little elastics um, that I'm going to be using for my uh, different projects. And the third drawer here, these are all zippers. In the fourth drawer, I have buttons here. Now, it was really hard to organize buttons for this particular type of drawer and for this type of a system. So what I decided to do is to group all the buttons that were alike and I purchased this uh, clear rubber band off of Amazon and I just grouped them together so that way I have less of a mess here so and so far it's it's been treating me nicely <laughs> and then the last drawer contains all my bias binding and any kind of um, bias binding or boning and things like that on the side, I decided to put a waste paper basket there. And then I also went ahead and purchased myself um, one of these little carts here. And I really like this. I am sad that I have not purchased this cart sooner. <laughs> it is so nice because it keeps the clutter down like really down so I have all of my this uh, bag here contains my tools my uh, writing tools I have more writing tools here I have my sticky notes here 
for when I want to remember things. And I still have my bobbins and cups, but as you can see, they are much cleaner. I cleaned those up. So these are all uh, bobbins that are full and these are empty bobbins. And yeah, I have more pins and cushions on this second uh, rack here. I have all of my sewing tools here, button foots and things like that. And kits that go to my to my sewing machine. I also have more spools of thread. So these are the smaller spools of thread. And uh, these are my wonder clips here. Those are all wonder clips. And then on the bottom, these are all the uh, larger spools of thread that goes on the serger and overlocker. Okay, so now moving on to this second cabinet. And by the way, I purchased this cabinet from uh, Lowe's. So for those of you who are living outside of the United States, it's just a home de uh, department store. And this cabinet has my knits. So I have on the top, these are all solid knits. I also have some lace knits, some lining knits. On the second shelf, these are all just solid uh, jersey knits, double brush knits, those types of knits, mat knits. And again, because this cabinet is so deep, there's a second row back there. On the third row here, these are all my printed knits. On the fourth row here, these are more like my sweater knits. And then on the last row, these are all denim and uh, corduroy fabrics. Okay, so moving on to this side of the room, which is the home of the cubby. So this here is a cubby that I also purchased off of Amazon because I needed it for more fabric. I have a lot of fabric. So most of this fabric here, these are all cotton fabrics or lining fabrics and uh, some linens. And these are all fabrics that I either am going to be using for mock-ups or fabrics that I'm going to be using for my son Jay's. So like right here, these are all kitty fabrics. So these are all fabrics that I purchased for Jace. And as you can see, I did color code some of these. So um, these cottons here, most of these are going to be mock-ups. So this one, this one, this one, possibly that one and that one, that one. Um, those are usually mock-up type materials for me. And then I have some more fabrics down here that are all cotton. These are some more knit fabrics here because I could not fit these in the cabinet. So I put them over here. Um, this is a knit lining. And then these are all Ponte knits. And then down here are all my striped uh, jersey knit fabrics. As you can see for this side of the room, the new addition on this side, I also purchased some drapes here and I went ahead and I um, put those drapes up and I don't know if you can tell um, the color like if the color is showing up true to color or not but this is like a really nice soft turquoise color um, on the white background and the stems are a really light brown color so I really love those drapes um, and the drapes actually were like 84 inches long, so I had to cut them because this is a really short window. And I cut them, and I have the ends of those drapes in here. And I'm my plan is to use this to put on the bottom of here, so that way it'll cover the bottom of this table here. And that won't be showing all the things that are underneath the table won't be showing so that's the plan for that um, as you can see here I have um, 
uh, spools of threads up here. And then this side of uh, the room has a cubby here that has all these little bins. This bin here is going to be my unfinished projects. So anything in here that is unfinished is going to be hopefully done by the end of the summer. So my plan is, is once this bin is full, I need to go ahead and stop whatever projects I'm doing and go ahead and start sewing. Let's hope that I keep that, um, that goal. These three, uh, little bins here can contain fabric or not fabric, sorry, contain patterns. So these are all patterns. And as you can see here, this bin is not wide enough to have two rows of patterns. So I have like one row of patterns going this way and then the others are just laying down that way, which I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be too picky about that. So I have the same thing going on here, more patterns and then patterns in that that last bin as well. Okay, so I have another bin here. I didn't have any room, any more room to put this in a cubicle. So I decided to just leave it on top of here. And these are all independent patterns. So these are all my deer and doe patterns. I have some true bias patterns and closet uh, core patterns as well. Those are all indie pattern patterns in there. Okay, so over here on the side of the cubbies, I have my Eversome machine. So this is the Sparrow 30. I don't really sew with this, this machine all that often. So I decided to just go ahead and put it on a small little, um, it's not a desk, but it's just like a folding table here. So I just have that here. It is sturdy and it sits really well. So I just have that there and so that completes this side of the room oh and here is the mirror here that i use for my um fitting and things like that just to uh, look and see how my garments are coming along so i put that up here this is actually an ikea an ikea mirror that i actually thrifted from the thrift store for 12 bucks so i was really excited to get that Okay, so this side here of the room, this is where the double door closets used to be. I switched those out with these beautiful drapes. I just love these drapes, y'all. And again, I'll go ahead and put a link to um, where I purchased these drapes in the description box. I will warn you, though, these drapes, uh, it took a long time to receive them. Actually, the first pair came... Um, about a week after I ordered them, but the second pair took like a little over a week and a half, almost two weeks, uh, just simply because I guess they were on back order or something. But anyway, I really love these drapes, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the closet and show you what my new closet looks like. Okay, ta-da! Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's a, a huge difference here. And I'll go ahead and show you the before picture here so you can get an idea of what it looks like now. And I'm just absolutely loving this. It's just decluttered. I have um, up here, I have this uh, hanger system going on with some of my fabrics. So these are all my shally fabrics and my silky type fabrics that I have up here. Um, in the back here, I have, these are fabrics that are actually um, sponsored fabrics. So I intend to keep the sponsored fabrics in the back here. And I'll just pull those out when I am ready to sew with them. As you can see up above here, I decluttered the top of the, uh, the, the shelving part here quite a bit. I have my... Uh, you know patterns that are in boxes the vintage patterns they're still stored up there i have my uh, ribbon and my tool and all that stuff up in there and then this box right here contains uh, some of my sewing books and uh, the sewing books that i was not able to get in there are um, on my bookshelf in my living room and then i have all my interfacing and my muslin fabric 
up there, stored up there. Um, down here, I have uh, these two bins here are full are full with uh, equipment for lighting and for video. So that's what all of this stuff here is for. It's all video equipment that's in these two little bins here. And I purchased these from Walmart. They were really inexpensive. And then on this side, this is all my lighting equipment here. And then over here, I have my tracing paper, rulers, and um, some other, you know, things for, for sewing. So, yeah, I am really loving this closet now. It looks so much cleaner, so much better. Um, I'm really happy with... Uh, this closet and now that I don't have the double doors it's uh, easier access and I am really loving it okay one more section I need to show you all and then I will close out the video here and that is this section over here so this is the last wall in the room that I want to show you which is the wall that is closest to the door here uh, I just have some decorations over here, and then I also have my collaps collapsible um, just form over here. And this is actually, uh, currently it works as my ironing station, as well as uh, I take photos and things like that and videos over in this area for uh, finished garments. So that's where I will be doing a lot of my photos and videos there. And then um, I have my iron and my ironing board on the back of the door here. Now, that's only one of my irons. I have about three or four. Um, I have uh, the other ones are in my laundry room. So anyway, that is my sewing room. Yeah, I'm really excited with how it looks and I am hoping that this space will stay clean and uh, serve me well over the next uh, few months and into the next um, few years as well. So. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please make sure that you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also comment below and let me know if you like my new sewing room. All right, everyone, until next time, stay creative. Bye.